it's so like it, it went out, but um, uh, all praise and glory to Yah, Bashin Yahshua, Bashin Kakadash, double honors to the other apostle Great Millstone. As I teach you, I can teach you all truth and sincerity. Um, uh, this is second second Kings chapter six verse twenty nine says. So we bore my son, did eat him, and I said unto her, on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. So basically, she wanted wisdom to be brought to this matter. Um, <clears throat> and uh, when the king heard this, he basically rent his clothes. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna read it anyway. This is uh. 2 Kings 6 and 30, and it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall, and the people looked, and behold, he had sackcloth upon his flesh. Because that was the most, that was a bugged out situation, you know, cause, and it, it was during a bugged out time because it was famine. And, um, you know, and that's going to happen here in Babylon. Over here in America, people, children are going to be boiled, you know, women and men are going to be boiling their children, you know, and, and the famine that's about to, that's coming upon this place, because the storehouses are going to be um, emptied. Uh, um, this is a uh, Jeremiah, um, Jeremiah uh, 19 and 6. It's Jeremiah nineteen six. It says, "Therefore, um, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that this place shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the son of Hin Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. Yeah, it's gonna be mass death out here in these streets. Um, blood is gonna be up to the horse's neck. You know, um, nobody's gonna regard um, persons. Everybody's gonna be out for themselves. You know." Because when you're hungry, like when you're actually hungry, hungry, like like you ain't ate in, in months, ate in weeks, um, you become delirious, you know, mentally and spiritually. Like you'll eat anything. You'll eat your hand. You'll eat your foot. You'll eat, you'll eat foam because you're so hungry. You know, foam will be will be um, will be tasteful. Paper would be tasteful. Grass would be tasteful. Because you're so hungry. You know. I mean verse 9. Um, and I will ca cause them. This is uh, Jeremiah 19 9. I will cause them to eat the flesh of their own. Their sons. And the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat everyone the flesh of his friend. And the siege and, and straightness. Wherewith thy en their enemies. Where with their enemies and they that seek their lives shall shall straighten them. So it's gonna be, uh, you know, dying. You know, it's better to die of the sword than to die of famine, because famine is a slow, agonizing death. You know. But anyway, this is a Isaiah nine verse twenty. It's Isaiah 9 verse 20 it says he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry and he shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied they shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm yeah when you're hungry you 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 like when you're yeah, what's the word super 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 hungry you haven't ate in weeks haven't ate in months you're going to be biting on your arm your your fingers you, you you know some people if they're um flexible they might start biting on their ear you know because th that's how hungry you gonna be um I'll go to Isaiah um thirteen and sixteen um this is Isaiah thirteen sixteen the children also should be dashed to pieces before the eye, their eyes. The houses shall be spoiled and the wives ravished. Yeah, you know, the a lot of children are going to die. Um, you know, all these homes are going to be invaded. Where these women are going to be um, raped. You know, uh, used as, um, as a, uh, what's the word? They're going to, the cock carousel going to ride them. They're going to be used for food. 
some most women are gonna be impregnated so so that baby can be a meal um you know a lot of a lot of young young babies are gonna be happy meals for for a lot of people in in the time of famine um because um you know I'm going to lamentations um four and verse nine. It's Lamentations 4, verse 9. It says, um, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Um, for these pine away stricken that through for want of the fruits of the field. Yeah, um, it'd be better if you be slain with the sword than be slain with hunger. Because you, being, you uh, being slain with hunger is a... Is a uh, a hor horrible harsh death because you're slowly pining away you're slowly um dying you know because if you um you know if you die by the sword it's a it's a quick and and merciless death but if you die of hunger it's a, it's a slow painful death and um anyway i'm gonna move on to another scripture this is um second Ezra 15 and verse 58, um, this is second Ezra 15, verse 58. It says, They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood, for very hungry of bread and thirst of water. Because a mass famine is going to be uh, all over the earth. Um, and um, people are going to be drinking their own blood, eating their own flesh, sacrificing and uh burning and and cooking their own children um and um I, I have two more this is isaiah 65 verse uh 12 cuz you know the elect the hopeful elect of 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 Shai will shy willing we're going to be uh protected in that day um but willing we're not gonna be hungry. We're not gonna be thirsty. We're gonna we're gonna actually have uh, 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 an abundance of joy in that day, because the you know the Lord's judgment is is going on, but his his um his men are not going to be are going to be protected from from um the calamities that's to befall these wicked people. Um, this is Isaiah 65 verse 12. It says, Therefore I will number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called ye did not answer, when I spake ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So those wicked people, especially two-thirds of our people, and all the heathens, all y'all are going to experience you know, death, destruction, famine, um, you know, all pain and suffering, but, but the elect are going to eat, the, you know, the elect are going to drink, the, the prophets, the men of the Lord are going to experience joy, you know, while you people, you wicked people are going to be ashamed, this is, um, Isaiah 65 verse 13 says, therefore does say, say if you have power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Especially two thirds of our people, because in in those times when they had a, you know opportunity to repent, they 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 um what's the word scoffed, they they mocked, they they didn't take heed to the prophets. So when all hell breaks loose, they have no excuse. They had opportunity. They're going to be looking for the men of the Lord. But it's going to be the famine of the word. In that time, it's going to be a literal famine and the famine of the word. So the men of the Lord are not going to be out with it on the highways of Bible is preaching this word. And, you know, the doors of repentance are, you know, vastly about to close soon. You know, and we're in these times where the kingdom is so close. Um, I'm read verse 14 says, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall 
cry for sorrow of heart, and you shall howl for vexation of spirit. Yeah, the, you know, our, our people are going to be in a sorrowful mindset. Our people and all you heathens. But but more importantly, our people, two-thirds of our people, they, they're they going to be vexed. And the, while, the, while the men of the Lord are going to be at peace and in a joyful mind state and praising the Lord, you know. Um, we got last one. Um, this is um, Ecclesiastes, which is Sirach, um, two, and verse uh, five. This is um, Ecclesiastes two, verse five. It says, "For gold is tried in the fire, and the seven man in furnace of adversity. We believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way of right, and trust in him." So we're going through this fire of affliction right now so we can um you know gain um uh, eternal everlasting life um uh protection um we're you know storing our treasure in heaven you know because our salvation is 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 greater than we ever can imagine you know um you know i'm reverse um Believe on in him and he will help thee uh, order that way of writing and trust in him. So we have trust and faith in y'all about y'all shy in that evil time, we're gonna be basically alright. Like um like it says in um second Ezra two and verse twenty seven. Um don't work you know Locky, let me get it right quick. Uh, I always say something, I just need to get it too. This is a uh, second Ezra two and twenty seven. It says, "Be not weary, for when the day of trouble, heaven is coming. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance." So, everybody else is gonna be, you know, in a sorrowful mind state, while the election, the the prophets, the men of the Lord that, you know, uh, sacrifice their lives for this truth, they they're gonna be happy. They're gonna be in a, a merry mind state, you know. While everybody's in sorrowful mind state and weeping, you know, pray, t calling on the Lord to help them when they had the opportunity to come and repent and they didn't want to. Uh, this is um, verse 8, read verse 7. It says, Ye that fear Yahweh, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. Ye that fear Yahweh, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear Yahweh, Hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Yeah, we if we fear Yahweh Bashi Yahshai and follow His laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of his, to the best of His ability. Lord willing, we'll receive His mercy. Lord willing, we'll receive His protection. In the end, you know, while everybody else is in a soft mind state and starving, we'll be eating, you know, and drinking, you know, and praising the Lord, you know. So anyway, I'm going to say all praise on glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshad, Bashim, Krakadash, double honors to the other apostles, great millstone, side case, you ought to teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.